ICICI Bank Commercial Banking present Business World International Business Awards Celebration Partner Teachers Origin Process Advisor PwC Event Partner FISME Television Partner NDTV Profit hey, Good evening to everybody uh, especially our esteemed guests from Corporate India Mr. Avit Sarkar and Mr. Prasanjit Datta uh, it is my privilege today to be part of today's event where we are recognizing excellence in the world of international business and trade. The world today sees India as a place of opportunity and achievement and a driver of global growth. What makes the India story even more attractive is the sustainability of our growth as well as the fact that we are largely resilient to the external shocks even as severe as the recent global financial crisis. While this growth is largely due to our dem favorable demographic profile and emergence of domestic consumption, if we have to continue with this growth momentum, it is crucial to develop overseas markets for enhancing exports, and that is where international business or, and trade will play an important role. I strongly believe that free trade and a global division of labor favors trade from countries like India, which have a favorable demographic structure with a large productive population. India is a very young country with 50% of its population under 30 years age. And the median age of our country is 25 years, which will be only 30 years even in 2025. The dependency ratio is expected to decline for the next three decades in India, while other countries like China, the dependency ratio will be on an upward trend. So given all this, uh, India is really poised to exploit the overseas export market. We've come a long way in exports since 1991, where we opened up the economy. It has grown seven times in 20 years. Uh, today, our exports are over $326 billion. Our share in world exports grew from 0.5% to 2% in the same period. Of course, mainly driven by services which grew from 0.5% to 3.2%. It's also thanks to our IT entrepreneurs, the availability of skilled manpower, and the impetus given to the IT services, uh, IT sector by the government policies. Going forward, the 21st century is clearly going to be an Asian century with most of the world's economic activity centered around Asia. India and China together make up 13% of the world exports, and this can only grow. In 1978, India and China were almost at the same level of exports. China was at 9.8 billion worth of goods and services, and India was at 8.6 billion. By 2010, this has changed to Chinese exports going to $1.8 trillion, or about 11% of the world exports while India's exports are uh, $326 billion, or 2% of the world exports. So clearly, there's a huge opportunity to grow the international trade and capture sh large share of the world exports for India. It is estimated that global trade will increase over the next few years on account of robust emerging economies and raising, rising importance of emerging markets. Post the financial crisis, India's share in world exports actually grew to 2% from 1.3% in 2008. I'm sure all Indian exporters are looking at the foreign trade policy announcement next week with a lot of optimism to find out whether there's any further stimulus for uh, exporters next week. I say say Bank, with its global presence in 19 countries, a strong correspondent banking global network, trade expertise in offering end-to-end -end solutions, and technology-enabled platform for seamless solution delivery has been partnering with Corporate India to help facilitate growth in trade. We are also pleased to initiate partnership with Business World to create a platform for recognizing and facilitating companies who have demonstrated leadership in creating and growing international markets. I would like to end by congratulating all the winners being felicitated today and wishing all of you a successful financial year 2013. Thank you.